Hi, I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse vlog. Let's jump straight into the product for you this week. First up, we have some new shoes from Yonex. This is a new color of the Eclipsion 5. I'm currently playtesting this shoe, really enjoying it. It's got a really solid blend of durability, stability, and comfort. So I found these shoes to break in very, very quickly. They offer, I would say, a generous medium width. So if you're a D to about an E width, you're gonna find a great fit in here. The uppers are, they have enough give in them so they're, they're gonna break in nicely and mold to the shape of your foot. And the shoe just keeps getting better and better the more hours I'm putting on it, holding up really well. Great blend of traction there because I've got enough grip to get me going for the quick sprint and enough give to allow me to pivot and take those small adjustment steps without the shoes feeling like they're getting stuck on the court. So really enjoying this shoe, nice cushioning too. Really can't say enough good things about that one. And then an all new shoe from Yonex is this Ad XL. And this one has a slightly more contoured fit and I have a skinny foot so I find a more glove-like fit in this shoe compared to the Eclipse. We just started playtesting this one as well. I don't really have enough hours on it yet to give you some additional details, but I do really like the fit and feel of the shoe. And the big news on this one, nice cushioning again, and it has a carbon plate, which extends from the um, under the arch region up into the forefoot of the shoe. And that's gonna flex with your weight, body weight on the toe and then help propel you forwards to the next ball. And it does feel, when, when I've done running around in them so far, really springy and quick feeling shoe. And it also comes in a wide version. So this is the wide colorway right here. Um, only available in wide, this colorway. You get the same technology and a bit more of a generous fit because the regular one is a snugger, I would say a true D fit right there. Okay, let's jump into some rackets now. First up, we've got some new color ups from Wilson and this is the US Open Edition rackets. And so first up, I've got the Clash 100 here. Same great specs and playability as the regular Clash but in this really fun US Open cosmetics. You've got the bright grip, some nice color accents in the grommet detailing here, as well as in the US Open script up at the tip of the hoop of that one. And then also we have that same US Open cosmetic in the Shift 99. Um, I really like this racket, it's fast, it's whippy, great access to spin. Um, both of these are fun rackets, easy to use, very forgiving. Uh, this one a little bit more control oriented of the two, but again, two dynamite rackets in fun US Open cosmetics. Okay, let's jump into some vintage now. First up, we've got a Prince Woody. This one's got a massive grip on it, four and three quarters. Rarely do you see that handle size. We never see it these days, but back in the day, bigger grips were popular. This one has got one. Um, this one, of course, is a end of the wood era. We're into graphite rackets already, but for the players that wanted that wood feel, Prince came out with this oversized hoop with a open throat design, but made from wood. So it's a very unique playing experience and a great racket to have in your collection. And definitely, if you're a collector of rackets, you wanna have one of those hanging up in the collection. And then last but certainly not least, we've got this Precision Graphite. And this is an early graphite racket where we don't see the joining of the tubes as they come down and go into the mold for the handle. Um, at the bottom of the yoke, they're coming in singular right there with a plastic collar and also a uh, plastic and riveted in uh, throat bridge. So we hadn't got the graphite mold in there yet on this design of racket, but great playability from this one. Nice early graphite racket. This is one too I would take out and hit and have fun with and also hang it on the wall, keep it in the collection. Okay, that's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.